Dr. Nichelle Gurley specialized in prenatal, postpartum, and pediatric chiropractic care, along with prenatal and postpartum fitness and rehab. We are gonna review monster walks today. So these are similar, if you watch my other video, to lateral walks with a slightly different angle. These are gonna to be to focus on the glute medius muscle, so that's the side butt region. So the bigger muscle, the glute max, does a little bit different of a role. The glute medius does more hip stabilization. So you're gonna take a looped band. If you don't have a looped band, you can take a longer therapy band and tie it into a loop. And then place it above your knees. I prefer above the knees for the cueing it gives the body. And you're gonna think about the outside of the knee out over the pinky toe. So you're gonna keep that tension the whole time. And then you're gonna be in a nice athletic stance. So a little bit of a hinge to the hips, not hinging all the way, just a little hinge, and a little bend to the knees. You're not standing up like this doing them, but a nice athletic stance. And then we're, we have lateral walks where we literally walk to the side laterally. Monster walks, we're gonna walk diagonal. So you're gonna walk like this. And you can do it backwards as well. So I'm gonna do it backwards. You can see with this one, I'm coming back. You can also do it where you come here and then you keep it under tension the whole time. So monster walks are a diagonal pattern, whereas lateral walks are directly to the side. Both are targeting the glute medius muscle to work on hip stabilization.